What's going on YouTube? RGL in the house coming back at you with a brand new release and today we are checking out 2122 Bowman University. This is a brand new football product from Topps by way of their Bowman franchise and this is one that I think is going to be very interesting moving forward in the hobby. If you're excited for today's video, go ahead, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Bowman University, I don't know what the hell to make of this product yet because it is, again, the very first year we are seeing this. Um, all of the players will be in their college uniforms airbrushed without the logo. So that is an interesting thing from Tops. Now, you know, we see that with Panini Baseball uh, players without logos on their uniform. Uh, hobby is very split on how they feel about that. And I am very interested to see how the hobby is going to react to this one. Now, of course, we know that players in their college uniforms typically do sell for less than players in their pro uniforms. We do have plenty of uh, college products from Panini like Prism Draft Football, Prism Draft Basketball, um, Contenders, Draft Picks, uh, all of these products with college. Now, Panini can actually show the logos. So you have Alabama Crimson Tide, Ohio State Buckeyes. Of course, um, but with Bowman, all of the uh, college uniforms do not have logos. That is one interesting thing that I noticed. Um, so it will be very interesting to see how the hobby reacts if they kind of flip. You know how people don't like Panini Baseball. Are they going to react negatively to Bowman University? Again, this is first year, so if they don't make it next year, I don't think too much of it. But this is, if this is a product that they make moving forward, I... I like it. Um, I might like it, actually. Um, we are going to see players that were not drafted this year. Um, so that is interesting as well. Um, you know, it's kind of like a first Bowman baseball card where, you know, players who don't make the majors for four years, three years have cards in Bowman. So this is very interesting to me. Uh, I've actually watched a couple boxes get opened, and I think that there is a decent amount of color. We are going to get two autos per box. So I like what I've seen so far. It looks like the market in the early going has responded positively. I've seen some pretty big sales of guys like CJ Stroud and some of the players getting taken in the draft. Um, now, I will admit I'm not much of a college football guy until it comes to like big bowl games and things like that. Um, I do like the Oregon Ducks, of course. Um, my family is all Huskies fans up here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know what to make of this product. Um, so not too much information on the box. Um, no, you know, no talks about case hits or things like that. We also don't even have a list of, you know, don't even have a list of parallels. Uh, so that's quite interesting. Um, now, of course, with the NIL license in place, name, image, likeness, uh, that does mean that we can get college, uh, get college cards now and things of that nature. And athletes can be featured in video games. They can negotiate their own likeness. It is kind of cool. Uh, let's take a look. We've got Brian Robinson. See, like I said, uh, do they? Yeah, I don't think they have logos. No, they do not have logos. I, I had to take a second look. Golden Boy DJ. I'm not even going to try that last name. Uh, Chris Olave, first Bowman right there. I believe they're all going to have first Bowman on them. I believe he was taken early in the draft. Like I said, I'm not much of a college guy, so I can't remember all of the picks. Harrison Bailey right there. Yeah, you can see he's, you know. That's interesting. It's just so interesting to me. They don't even have the college name on the card either. Um, I'm looking for the college name on there. Yeah, they can't even put like Tennessee, I believe that is. So they didn't even put, you know, the state that the college is in. That's very interesting. Chris Olave again. Shimmer Chris Olave. That is beautiful. So that is a chromium card. Everything else has been on paper so far. Chris Olave going to be our first chrome card of the box. Pretty sharp looking. You know, it is in line with 2022 Bowman Baseball. The same design. Um, yeah, Michael Phoenix right there and Grayson McCall. Interesting set. Yeah, like I said, I don't know how I feel about this. I guess only time will tell. If we're opening this product two or three years from now, then maybe I feel different. Uh, Connor Basilic. We have CJ Stroud on the Invicta. Definitely take that. And Jordan Battle. Yeah, so Stroud, a, a big chase in this product. Definitely take Stroud on the Invicta. That is a thicker stock. And we will keep it on rolling, looking for our two autos. I've never really been much of a college fan until the bowl games come along. So it's just how it's always been. Uh, Derek Stingley, 
Xavier Worthy, DJ again, and Sam Williams, like I talked about. I've just, there's so much sports that I have a hard time staying on top of all things baseball, football, basketball, as far as the pros go. And, um, yeah, it's just been, uh, you know, I've gotten into football more in recent years. I think college football is the best of all of the college products. Um, basketball uh, doesn't do as well as it probably should, in my opinion. Football, some of the prism draft picks football does really well. DJ right there, a refractor. Brock Bowers and Kenny Pickett. So I do think, you know, a lot of people are very sentimental about college, especially if they went to that college. Um, college football just seems to be bigger than college basketball uh, to me. So I do think that that is why this set uh, has a chance to stand out. It's why I like this set more than the overtime elite basketball set that uh, Topps recently put out. Uh, Tyler Shruff right there on the purple. Again, purple's not numbered. So uh, we've hit some color so far. We just have not hit any uh, numbered color. Expected that to be to 250. Kenneth Walker and Will Levis. Levis. So my apologies if I'm butchering some of these names. Uh, John Mechie, Bo Nix, Hank Bachmeyer, and uh, Tulia Tagavailoa. Casey Thompson, Malik Willis. I was hoping the Seahawks would actually take him in the first round. Uh, we did take an offensive tackle, which is, I don't know, kind of sour grapes considering Russ is no longer here. Would have been nice to have uh, have him last year for Russ. Uh, Malik Willis, though, will take that. Uh, Karis Jackson and Romeo Dobbs. Dobbs. Romeo Dobbs, maybe. Uh, Nick Starkle. Golden Boy Graham Mertz. Dylan Gabriel and Bryce Young will definitely take a Bryce Young rookie as well. It's kind of weird. Only four cards per pack. It does feel kind of like a prism product, but, you know, we're only getting like four paper cards. Nick Starkle, and that is going to be a throwback to the 2000 uh, Bowman design. Of course, we all know the Tom Brady Bowman and Bowman Chrome from 2000 as an iconic card in the hobby. Um, it is cool that they decided to use that design. Uh, Rakeem Jarrett and DeMarvin Leal. Still looking for our two autos in this box. Sean Clifford, Kenneth Walker, Refractor, Mackenzie Milton. We'll take that. I just find it so weird that they didn't put any information about their college at all. Maybe they can't legally. You would think they'd put it on the back somewhere. It's very strange. Uh, Dalton Kin Kincaid. Malik Cunningham. Jaden Reed. That's going to be our first auto. Josh Downs to 199. And that's kind of on that wave pattern that we've seen in recent sets. Kind of like a wave. Um, we've seen, or a lava rather, not a wave. Kind of a lava design. So I, I believe they probably call that like a lava Josh Downs, our first of two autos in the box. And DJ again. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you ripping any of this? Um, compared to most Panini football, it is a relatively uh, relatively cheaper rip. I believe these are coming in at around 170, 160 I've seen on the market. Uh, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. I've seen a lot of different pricing on this one, actually. So I, I'm recording this about a week prior to it going live on the channel. So the pricing could be way up, could be way down um, based on the draft. And I don't know, based on the sentiment of the singles market for this product. Because like I said, at the time of recording, it looks pretty positive. I've seen some pretty, pretty decent sales of Shroud and others. Um, but you never know. Uh, Kennedy Brooks, we have another Invicta that is going to be DJ. And there's a first of Spencer Rattler. Definitely take a Spencer Rattler. The Invictas are nice. They're on a like 75 point card stock. They definitely have a premium feel to them. Pretty cool. Khalil Shakur. Chris Rodriguez. A 2020 throwback of Zay Flowers. And Tyler Freifogel. 
Yeah, I can't get over the fact that these are only four card packs either. I would like to just see less packs. Give me 12 packs of eight. Skylar Thompson, a refractor. I would much rather rip like eight packs or 12 packs and not 24 packs of four cards each. This seems kind of like a waste of plastic. Deuce Vaughn, Golden Boy Sam Hell, Kayshawn Boat, Bout, and Jalen Weidermeyer. Blake Corum, RJ Sneed, Cade Otten, and Jalen Tolbert. Still looking for one more auto. Colby Wooden, Brian Robinson, Malik Cunningham right there. That's a pretty good one. And Marvin Mims. I think Marvin Mims went in the first. Maybe he didn't go in the first round. Like I said, I watched the first round. I'm trying to remember who went where. It was a very defense and offensive uh, lineman heavy draft. So, I don't know. 2022 uh, football cards are going to be very interesting. I think the first quarterback went, what, 20, 20th or 21st? We have Kobe Wooden. That's going to be a blue to 199. Devin Lloyd and Jalen Watson. Three packs left. We are still looking for one more auto in the box. Tyler Goodson, a throwback. Tyler Schuff. Braylon Allen and Tyler Beatty. All right, let's not get Panini tops. Come on, we want our second auto. Kyle Hamilton, Zay Flowers, Tanner McKee, going to be a Chrome Refractor, and Josh Downs. And our final pack should have our auto, otherwise we got per box on average. Does feel a little bit thicker, so I do think there's going to be a Chrome in here. We have Graham Mertz, C.J. Stroud, rookie. Can we see one more C.J. Stroud? I don't think so, but would be nice to see one more C.J. Stroud. That is going to be Tyler Allgaier, running back, non-numbered on that one. So that is Bowman University. I'm, I like it. I like the design. I like the, in theory, I like the premise of a Bowman football set featuring NIL players and college players. But I think only time will tell, you know, if this product flops and we don't see it next year. Uh, these cards will not really retain too much value in my opinion. You know, they will be trumped by prism draft picks whenever all these players make it to the NFL. Um, but hey, if this product is one that sticks around for a while, uh, maybe the hobby will be split and people will think that these are the players first true rookie cards kind of like with what we have the debate between bowman firsts and tops flagship rookies uh with baseball so it will be interesting to see in coming years and again we're gonna have to wait a year plus uh to see how the uh sentiment with collectors go on this set um our two autos josh downs and tyler Algier, and then all of our color right here um not too crazy on color um, just a handful of color. Um, uh, I think we only had like one or two. Yeah, only one numbered color actually. And that was the blue. Everything else was either refractors or Invictas. Um, yeah, it's just going to be really interesting to see in the future. You know, I don't really have too much. I don't think highly of it. I don't, I don't hate it. I don't really like it right now. I'm just kind of neutral on it. I definitely wanted to rip a box for myself see uh, what it was all about and bring it on the channel so we can open up the discussion. So let me know in the comments what you think about Bowman University. This is a product you're going to be ripping. Do you not like college cards? Uh, whatever you think of this product, sound off in the comments below. That is going to do it for me today. Take care, stay safe, and we'll catch you next time on Down the Road.